Today's one burning question focuses on three letters, I, C, and S. What type of file is that? And how can we make it play nice with our calendars? Those answers are coming up next on this edition of One Burning Question. All right, we've received a great submission in our One Burning Question inbox, and it reads, what's the best way to add events from an ICS file when using Microsoft Outlook? What a great question. Often, when we are invited to an event, like a meeting or webinar, we can choose yes, maybe, or no, and that's that. But sometimes, we may see an ICS file instead. An ICS, short for an iCalendar, is a file that contains calendar details for an event. And instead of being able to automatically add an event to our calendar, we may instead receive that ICS file. So what do we do now? Luckily, I have James Hayes on the horn with me. James is the Director of Educational Technology and User Services. I know him as one of the IT gurus. James, thanks for being with us today. So what can we do with those ICS files when we wanna add an event to our Outlook calendar? Thanks, David. Typically, when you get invited to an event in Outlook, you'll see an email that looks like this. It'll have the details of the meeting that you've been invited to, and then there's some buttons at the bottom of the email where you can click yes, maybe, or no to reply uh, whether or not you'll be able to attend this event. And when you click yes, this event is automatically added to your calendar. And that's because Outlook uses something called a V calendar format, so we could tell that this message is from uh, someone either inside of Ashland or external to Ashland who's also using Outlook to invite you to this particular meeting. But sometimes you'll get an invite to a meeting that looks a little different, and it may look something like this, where it says you've been invited to an event from 1 to 2 p.m., on, uh, and it's showing an ICS file. What this probably means is the person who's sending this invite is using Google, which uses the ICS style of calendar invites or some third-party service. So we're stuck with the question, how do we add this event to our calendar? Well, we can add it to our calendar in one of two ways. The simplest and most straightforward way, if we know that this is just a single event that's going to take place at one particular time, is we can click on the drop-down arrow next to the file and select the option to Add to Calendar. So it's going to say importing, added to calendar. Now when we go and we check our calendar, this says it's happening today from 1 to 2 p.m. And sure enough, when I go to my calendar today from 1 to 2 p.m., I see this event right there. When you click the add to calendar option, however, it's adding it to your personal calendar. And you may want to add this event to a different calendar that you have writing permissions to. So to add this to a different calendar, what we could do is click the drop down and then choose to download the ICS file. Then we can head to our calendar inside of Outlook and go to Add Calendar. From the Add Calendar, we'll choose Upload File, and this is where we'll upload that file that we just downloaded, that .ics file. So we'll choose the file we just recently downloaded, and now we're presented, rather than just being able to only add it to your calendar, you'll see a drop-down list of all of the calendars you have write permissions on. So if you are uh, managing someone else's calendar or you're managing a group calendar, you want to add this particular event to that calendar, you're able to do that by downloading the ICS file, uploading from file, and selecting the calendar you want to add this event to. And just as before, when we go and check, we can see that this event has been added to the calendar we selected. Another place we might encounter .ics files is on the web. We might belong to a professional organization or come across a calendar that we would like to add. So here is a calendar that's available on the web. Uh, when we go and download it, it's presented to us as a .ics file. So the process to add this to either our personal calendar or a calendar we control is the exact same. We go back to Outlook, we go to Calendars, Add Calendar, Upload from File, Browse, choose the file, open, and select our calendar, and then click import to add this list of events to our calendar. An ICS file contain just a single event, can contain just a single event, or it can contain multiple events, as is the case here. So typically you'll encounter them uh, as our first example, as individual emails for an individual event, 
but you may also encounter them where they are a collection of recurring events or holidays or some kind of a schedule that you want to add or incorporate into your Outlook calendar. So that's ICS Files. Back to you, David. Thank you, James. That was super helpful. I appreciate it. It looks like if we have an ICS file, we may be able to click on that file attachment and choose Add to Calendar. But if that option is not there, or we want to add an event to another calendar than our personal one, the best bet is to download the file, click on the Add Calendar menu option in our Outlook Calendar view, and then use the Upload from File option. All right, I feel like I'm good to go the next time I see an ICS calendar invite in my inbox. Thank you again, James, for all your help. I appreciate you and your whole department. You guys are awesome all the time. I really do appreciate it. And thank you for joining us for this edition of One Burning Question. <laughs>